All right, everyone. Welcome to the super fun game of license agreement and privacy policy. Which I wasn't going to record, but look at this goddamn. It goes on forever. Probably something about my firstborn in there. Anyway, no matter where the information is located, Activision takes commercial responsibility measures to safeguard your privacy rights and accords. Unfortunately, as of 2015, we no longer offer Activision recounts to Russian-based customers. Well, darn. It's the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. So, pre-ordered this game forever ago. Uh, commissioned artwork for the thumbnail. As you can see, link to the artist below. She does great work. Uh, I've never played this game. Is that a butt plug on the end of the S? I've never played this game. And... My only real experience with this game is watching my sister play it when I was very young. I didn't really get into the video game scene until about Ratchet and Clank. Uh, but I watched her play the Spyro games, and I have some very distant memories of a couple of the things that happened. Ultimately, I have no idea what I'm getting into. So... Wow, that was fucking stellar work there, guys. And, Crash Bandicoot had, you know, the different backgrounds and, you know, little character art for each one. This one's just Spyro posing in different ways with different shades of background. That's not even consistent backgrounds. No, they are consistent. Still, though, it is kind of kind of lazy menu. <clears throat> anyway, let's get into the actual meat and potatoes of this game. In the world of dragons. I like the loading screen. This Bounding Spyro. It's cute. I have friends who particularly like this game, and uh, they're eager to see me play this game and get annoyed at me. Yes, we get it. In the world of dragons, very... Okay, thank you. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age... We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly. Well, that's just mean. Look at all that fan mail he has. Oh, shit. He can just do that? What are you pissing that guy off for? That guy's crazy powerful. With all his motivational posters and fan mail. I mean, holy crap. That is not a dude you want to piss off. I'm all for shit-talking, but, you know, if the dude can long-range turn me into gems without my being able to do anything about it, I'm gonna pass on that one. Alright, so, well, I mean, Ellie. Ah, do I not get a double jump? No, oh, I get the glide, that's, I remember that. I also feel like I'm already off to a bad start by having immediately fallen off the ledge that I'm guessing I was supposed to run up to. Hey, buddy, what's up? You alright? You seem... kinda... kinda scared there, champ. So, hold on, real quick. Uh, options. We got some things to do. So, map on, first of all. Why wouldn't I have a map on? Uh... Sound? Can we get subtitles? Reignited. Oh, you can do original or... Dynamic. Yeah, sure, why not? Where the hell's subtitles? Controls, move list. I don't care about that. Alright, so there's no subtitles. Camera pass. Uh. I. Wish one of those was manual. Uh, so. Yeah. Oh, the little. Yeah, I got a mini map. That's cool. That's, that's useful. I'm gonna leave that on. Look at how useful that is. Square is charge. I remember that. I've rescued Nestor. Hello, Nestor. He appears to be a carpenter. 
Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Well, I mean... And now there's a pixie? Thanks. I can talk to the pixie. Replay dragon. Oh, that's cool. I mean... Kinda neat, I guess. Can I look up her skirt? No, I can't. Just wearing boring old pants. Who wears pants? So are these guys enemies? Because they seem like they're just running around like a bunch of idiots. Ah, yes, the world's stone hill. So what happens if I just... Yeah, okay. Not the, uh, the fiercest of foes, are they? Also, I'm pretty sure that's Tom Kenny doing the voice. Also, I mean, you know, at first I was all down on them uh, making fun of Nasty Nork, because, you know, they just called him ugly. That's just me. Did I accidentally invert left and right? No, I didn't. What the? Who's this dude? Hey, you. Get back here. Like goddamn Nabbit from Mario. Give me the fucking. Uh. Nope. Well, I've rescued Delbin anyway, which I was gonna do. Ah! An artist! I'll torture. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh. His name is Sparks. Memory serves. Oh, yeah. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Yeah, yeah, he's... he represents my life. Can I chill out in the water? Nope, I can't. Really cannot. The water is not that deep. Also, I think Sparks... aren't you supposed to take a hit for me? I'm not a fan of the loading screen. That is... suboptimal. I thought I got a fire. Oh, I do. Should really press buttons before I go saying I thought I had X, Y, and Z. So do I just keep attacking this dude? Oh man, that is all wrong. You click the... Maybe... Uh, clicking the stick is supposed to center the... Okay, look. Really not a fan of these camera controls. Options, camera, have it active. No idea what active means, but I'd like it, you know, kept sort of behind me. And he's dead. Excellent. I have no idea what, I think Nathan told me clicking the left stick acts as like something. There's a thing there. But, yep, yeah, this guy. He's kind of worthless, isn't he? So yeah, look mode I'm not a fan of. Clicking the left stick should center the camera, not just take you into this weird look mode thing. Hmm. Yep, that's how that works. How do I delicately open this chest? Never mind! I thought I would need a key or something. So are there any more of these guys to get before I go hopping off into worlds? I'm not just, you know, not seeing the worlds here. I just want to tidy up this place. Whee! Ow! I can't climb ledges with my lack of hands. That's... I'm offended by this. So yeah, I'm fairly certain that is Tom Kenny doing the voice of Spyro. I think he was the original Spyro as well. Maybe not in the first game, but in later games, I think it was. Do I get a running start up this hill? I cannot... Really? I can't... That's just silly. For what possible reason can I not get a running start and then jump and glide? 
That is insane. Does the grass burn? Oh, the grass does burn. That's a beautiful little touch. Chief Kebab, give it. That was supposed to give me a trophy. Nathan lied to me. Maybe I have to burn enough sheep. Oh, there's this dude. I'm gonna assume his name's Greg. Or like, Phil. Or Melgar. Argus, that's what I meant. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a Why does he have the dragon mouth? But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Said it lies through the nostrils. Kinda wasn't listening, I was distracted by the water no. Are all the pixies the same? Yeah, it's all the same girl. Which is alright, she's kinda cute. I like blondes. <sighs> I'm so pissed I can't get up there. And I mean, I probably can, but... Just gotta time it right. There it is. Skill point acquired. If you say so. That was a moderately annoying jump to make, actually. What's down here? I bet there's a secret. There isn't. That's... A little disappointing, actually. Come on in! I almost said Insomniac. Come on, Activision! Get it together. <sighs> so Nathan, at least, is probably sick of watching me wander around the overworld. Who is this guy? Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to find the ballooner. Can I go there? Wait a minute. Nope, I can't. Wish I hadn't. Alright, well, he said find the ballooner, so let's do some worlds and then get to this ballooner. I see, I think I've explored everything I can in this area. Got a bunch of chests and uh, freed some dragons. So Stonehill, let's... Wait a minute, what's down here? Hey, yeah, you. Almost, I was so close to playing the game. Oh wow, there's a big area. Thomas! Not a dragon name. Hey, Spyro. He's a bard. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. All dragons found. Good. Prehistoric glaciers. So... Prehistoric exists within this canon? Because I think dragons and dinosaurs are pretty much, you know, on par with each other, so... Them being prehistoric is an interesting point to make, I think. You know, this guy. This guy's a straight-up dick. Ah, oh, you bastard. Does he have a mohawk? He does, too. Yeah, suck on that, Mohawk Fred. I'm assuming that's his name. I also have no idea how many jet Town Square! That sounds pleasant! I look forward to going to the Town Square. No idea how many gems. Part of the problem- ow. Part of the problem was, uh, the dragon didn't seem to know. It said 1,200 or 1,400. I also couldn't remember if there were six or seven worlds. Although, I'm gonna bet that's like a sort of tongue-in-cheek, Oh, there's a bonus world thing. God damn it. Can I drop, like, quicker when I'm gliding? Square do that? Let me check. Yeah, okay, Square does that. Good to know. Oh, for God's sake. Triangle enters look around mode too? It's just the worst. You are supposed to center the camera. Right thumbstick and nothing more. Alright. He does look very. This is a very pretty game. I'll give it that. Oh, for. Wrong button. Uh, will I get to an actual level this episode? Probably not. Let's 
depends where I want to start. Oh, for God's sake! Oh, I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm trying not to, anyway. There. Two gems. Whoop de shit. I am incompetent, let me tell you. Hundred of a hundred. There we go. Cleared this area out. Nice. That's what I like to see. Alright. Let's move on to Town Square. We'll do, we'll do the levels and then speak to this Ballooner fellow. Oh yeah, these loading I remember these loading screens. The whole flying to the area. Didn't the gems used to fall from the sky? I feel like they did. Oh, they actually let you move around. Can I... If they're going to let us do that, give me, like, an over-the-shoulder view. Don't, don't give me that. Come on, now. Immediately behind me. Sparks also grabs gems for me. I think he'll take a hit for me. Seems like he's grabbing gems for me, though. Now you gotta smash those, alright. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Hello, Niles. Seen Frasier. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. I... <laughs> and then it fell over. Um... I would, but there's gems down here for Sparks to collect. Wasn't Sparks in something? I feel like Sparks got his own game briefly. There were a lot of um, Game Boy... But you just heal me? There was a lot of Game Boy Advance uh, and, like, DS ports of this game. I did actually... The only Spyro game I ever really played uh, was one of the Game Boy ones, and I was very young. Um, I remember a kangaroo. That's about it, really. Had some cheat codes, I remember that. It was like an isometric platformer. I didn't think it was that great, actually. But, you know how it is when you're young, you play what you have. What the hell? Is that a life? Delvin! Backwards is Nilven! Thanks, Spyro. Thanks, Spyro. Wow. I had the word he had that prepared. The tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Ah, oh, shit. Where would I be without your basic goddamn logic information? You gotta save this guy? I don't really... You're welcome. That was just silly. So, yeah, um... I don't really have a point of reference for a lot of this game. I'll give you some things that I do remember. I remember there's a guy with some money bags who I really like, because I like merchants in games. Uh, I remember there's a sorceress I really didn't like, she was kind of a bitch. I remember Hunter. I remember thinking he was pretty cool. Uh... And I remember a boss fight where at the end of it some dude gets stuck in a doorway. That is pretty much the extent of my memory on that. I didn't remember there were bowls in this game. Didn't remember there was a level called Town Square. The loading screens, I was like, oh yeah, I remember those loading screens. The loading screens are cool. This game's way easier than Ratchet and Clank. The whole just instant fire burst thing. I, sh I should reiterate, this game's first level is significantly easier than Ratchet and Clank's. What is this? Return home. I'd rather not. Got stuff to do. Alvar. Hmm. Is he a cook? Spyro, do you see oh, I like the ke I like the kebab things on his tail. He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. That sounds like my boy, who I believe is actually named Moneybags. 